everyone so I'm really excited to be making this video a few days ago or maybe like about a week ago me and my younger sister watched the Bratz movie on Netflix and it was it was interesting I've seen it before but I hadn't watched it in a while and re-watching it I was like wow this movie is a little rough around the edges now some people may say that this movie is bad but I think that it is absolutely iconic. One of my favorite parts about this movie is when one of the characters, Yasmin, she turns a corner and bumps into this guy and she's annoyed and she says, are you blind? And he doesn't answer her and she goes, are you blind? And it's like a close up of him like reading her lips and he goes, no. I'm deaf. And then she goes, oh, well, you don't look deaf. And then he goes, well, you don't look ignorant. <laughs> and I mean, that alone sets the tone for, I think, the whole movie. Part of what I think makes this movie not good is that there's a two-year jump, like, 20 minutes in. So the movie starts, the four main characters, they're starting high school, and then they all find their own little clubs and then they drift apart that's all fine but then it's you see them struggling to like stay connected with each other which I think is like a very real thing to capture but then they jump two years ahead literally even all of like the extras are the exact same people they can't all be the same age it's a high school there's this part in the movie where yasmin has a face mask on she's in a robe her hair is messy and i think it's her and her aunt are like singing and dancing in her room and like, it's fun lighthearted, whatever but her younger brother takes a video of it oh what's he gonna do with it who knows well he gives the video to the mean girl and then the mean girl invites everyone to this huge party and plays the video for everyone. And Yasmin is like, oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I can't believe this is happening to me. Meanwhile, it's like, it's not that embarrassing. She doesn't even look bad in the video is the thing. She just looks like a normal teenage girl who's just trying to have a good time and like live it up. I don't really see what's so embarrassing about that. I guess that she was like wearing a robe, but I don't know. That whole scene has never made sense to me. Like it's not that embarrassing and she, like she just looks like she knows how to have a good time. Meredith is the mean girl and she has this younger sister. I forget what her name is honestly, but she's the best part of the movie. All she does is make fun of her sister and just be really sassy and she's the best. Also though, it is kind of weird because Yasmin's brother tries to get with Meredith's younger sister, but it's very explicitly said that her younger sister is 11 and Yasmin's brother is at least 14 because after the two year jump, Yasmin is driving him to school. So that's weird. Why, why do freshmen want to get with the middle schooler? That's icky. I don't like that. Even though Meredith is the mean girl, both of the songs that she sings, which, why is she singing songs in the movie? I don't really know. But both of her musical performances, if you will, are really good. <laughs> like, the lyrics kind of slap. Let's pull up the lyrics, shall we? Okay, like, I don't know if this is the chorus. But at one point she says, I'm funky, I'm fly, I'm fabulous, and here's why. I'm rowdy, I'm real. Let me tell you how I feel. Don't worry that you're inferior. It's just that I'm superior. Don't sweat it, don't cry, don't fret it, here's why. Simply one and only, fabulous. Come and get to know me, fabulous. You want to be my homie, funky and fabulous. Bars! I mean, it slaps. <laughs> Okay, I'm looking at the lyrics to the other song. She sings this one at the talent show because, of course, there's a talent show. Um, this one's called All About Me. I guess one of the verses, yeah, this is a verse. She goes, Mama, ma MySpace. I have 10 million friends. To 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 text me. BFF till the end. P -p -p Page me on your cell and press send. Diva what, diva who, diva where. That's me. That's poetry. That's what that is. She said, diva what? Diva who? Diva where? That's 
me. Speaking of the talent show, part of what sort of reunites the group of friends is that there's a talent show and one of the prizes is a college scholarship, which is really vague. Basically, all of the girls know that Chloe could really benefit from the scholarship, so they decide to enter. But because Meredith is also performing, she doesn't want them performing because she hates them. To get them to stop, she confronts Yasmin and says, like, I have all this blackmail, and if you go forward with the talent show, I'm going to expose everyone. Basically, Yasmin decides that she's going to remove herself from the performance, and then that upsets all the other girls, and they're, they're pissed, which I get. And then, but then they just decide not to do it at all, which is like, why do that? Might as well just do it without her, but whatever. Maybe another 10 minutes go by in the movie before Yasmin, like, comes clean. Why didn't she just say something before? It's not her fault that Meredith has all this blackmail on her friends. Like, she's not the one who gave her that information. So I don't get why she didn't just tell her friends to begin with. Like, I feel like they could have found a solution just more quickly than they ended up doing I don't know it that ugh. they do all look really iconic in in their looks in their fits and in the end spoiler alert they win the talent show and that means that Chloe gets the scholarship which is really great except hold on Chloe is on the soccer team which brings me to my next question why doesn't Chloe just try and get a soccer scholarship if she's so worried about money? Also, again, remember, it's a two-year jump, so they're juniors, which means they have another whole year of high school. What's going to happen to the money? Like, where does that money go? What amount is it? Different colleges cost different amounts as cringy as this movie could be at times it is still enjoyable it's one of those movies that are so bad it's good but i grew up with the brats i used to have brat dolls um like the regular ones and then also the like weird baby ones <laughs> i used to be really into the movies i still own the homecoming one the like cartoon one where they go to homecoming that's basically the whole thing is them getting ready for the dance i've seen other ones like there was a daycare one that i really liked also i think there was a superhero one there was a really really weird one where like the brats were on tour and they kept going like you know they're on tour so they're driving around the country and this woman keeps showing up and then it, ugh, correct me if I am wrong but the way I remember it is that it's like revealed in the end that this woman has been trying to like sabotage them the whole time trying to kill them so I thought it would be fun if I took a quiz to figure out which Bratz doll I am naturally the only way to do that is to take a BuzzFeed quiz okay so this quiz is which Bratz doll are you have you got a passion for fashion? The answer is yes. What was your favorite subject at school? Chemistry, PE, English literature, music. I guess I'm gonna have to say English because I'm an English major. What secret talents do you have? I can sing. I'm a great photographer. I know everything about fashion. I'm a talented writer. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to go with the writer part just solely because I am an English major and I can't sing. I guess I can take an okay photo. I don't know everything about fashion. What's your favorite color? Yellow, blue, purple, green. That's kind of hard. I'm gonna go with blue. Which nickname suits you most? Bunny Boo, Cool Cat, Pretty Princess, Angel. I mean, my name is Catherine, and my friends usually just call me Catherine. <laughs> I guess Cool Cat, because that's the closest to my name. What is your vice? I'm clumsy. I'm very shy. I have a bad temper. 
I'm sometimes secretive. I'm definitely not secretive because I am an open book. I would say almost to a fault. Um, I could meet someone and like 15 minutes into a conversation, they could know my life story. Don't you hate it when you forget to be mysterious? <laughs> What's your dream job? Advice column writer, pop star, record producer, personal stylist. Again, I feel like I just have to go with the writer thing. Know, know your strengths. How would you describe your personality? I'm shy, caring, and everyone's best friend. I'm confident, organized, and caring. I'm into everything from science to fat. I'm clumsy, full of energy, and down to earth. I'm not shy, so I guess I have to rule out that first one. And I'm not into everything from science to fashion. I hate science. Um, science can choke. I'm gonna go with I'm confident, organized, and caring. Because I am confident when I let myself be confident. <laughs> but I am very organized and I am caring. I'm a caring person. I'm just like really like, kind of like love other people. You know? Yeah. How would you describe your style? I'm inspired by Harajuku fashion. I love athletic fashion and live for comfort. I love mixing vintage clothes with new trends. I'm into street style and copying what all the pop divas are wearing. I wouldn't say athletic, but I do live for comfort. Um, I own a lot of sweaters. Mm. I guess I love mixing vintage with new trends. I, I guess. I don't know. I'll go with that one. Uh, if you were a pair of shoes, what type would you be? So the options are trainers, leopard print heels, flats, chunky platforms. <sighs> when they say trainers, I think they mean sneakers. I'm gonna go with trainers. Like, trainers are versatile, you know? What's your favorite animal? Tiger? Polar bear. Cat? Bird. A bird? Who has their favorite animal a as a bird? What kind of bird? Like, that's so vague. That's really vague. There's a lot of different types of birds. So, I'm gonna go with cat because I have a cat and she's the best. You got, oh my god, okay. I got Chloe. You're ethereal and down to earth. You're always there for your friends. You have an artistic side and can be found at galleries or taking cute photos of your friends for your photography portfolio. You're into almost every sport possible from motocross and skateboarding and football. You're also very clumsy. So that could not be more inaccurate. I, I, I'll i take ethereal and down to earth. Uh, I would love to think I am. I, I like to think I'm, I'm there for my friends too. You're into every sport possible? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. No. I took up running over the summer and very quickly discovered that I hated it. It was the worst. No, thank you. So, yeah, I really, I, I could not agree with this um, quiz less. So my plan was to take the quiz and see which Bratz doll I was and then dress like that Bratz doll. But I got Chloe and the description is just not me at all. So I think what I'm going to do instead is just do a version of myself if I lived in the Bratz universe. I don't wear makeup that often so I don't have a ton of makeup. I did get a few things from CVS but I think I'm just gonna keep it simple and focus more on like the outfit. Okay this is the look so far. I tried to do that thing where you have like strands of hair that come down and then you clip it back but now I think it looks kind of stupid <laughs> so I might change it. But this scrunchie is so cute. It's pink and velvet. It has little um little pearls on it. Oh, um, in case anyone was wondering, I'm using Great Lash by Maybelline. Okay, so I got this um lash extension kit <laughs> thing. Um, it has a liner and then the lash. It's like magnetic. So I'm gonna try it. I have literally never attempted to do this before because I don't do makeup. But let's see how this goes. Oh God, I need instructions. <sighs> Primer. I don't own primer. I was gonna do this here, but I think I need to use a real mirror. Hold on. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> the fake eyelashes. They actually, do they look okay? No, ma'am. <sighs> I think this one probably looks 
better. This was a fun attempt. <laughs> um, but I think I'm just gonna take them off and cut my losses. <laughs> it's just kind of funny, like, how bad I fucked that up. Now I'm going to do the one thing that might save this look, and that's fake nails. I don't know if I'm putting these on in the right order. I don't know if there's a correct order, but I'm probably not following it. But you know what? That's okay. Okay, so these are the nails. I mean... What do, what do models do? Like... They definitely don't do this, but... Like, ooh... That's too close to my eye. That freaked me out. for today um i hope you enjoyed this video um i had a lot of fun making it the outfit itself honestly i feel great so if you're feeling down in the dumps channel some brats energy and just dress like a brat <laughs> i'm like obsessed with myself right now like i look so good so good so good I love the nails. <sighs> they just tie it all together. They're great. But yeah, that's all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Ba Boom. And as the brats always say, if you got it, flaunt it.